Howard University is one of America's leading historically black institutions. Faculty members here have a number of research projects in partnership with colleagues at universities in other countries, and more foreign collaborations are being developed. The international collaborations in terms of re in research and, and also our training programs are extremely important uh, to Howard, particularly if um, we look at specific disease states like HIV um, and uh, cancer and other illnesses that really cross borders in terms of their, their impact. But we've also had a number of um, research collaborations in other areas in atmospheric science and uh, biology and chemistry and in other areas that we believe are also key to the university and, and uh, help us to identify ways uh, to tackle problems that are international problems and not necessarily uh, regional or national issues in, in the United States. Anthony Wuto is the university's assistant provost for international programs. He says there are numerous advantages from having foreign research partners. Um, individuals who may have been trained in the Middle East or may have been trained in Europe or may have been trained um, in Africa may have a different approach um, from what may be traditional or, or um, usual in, in the West. Um, so I think having a, a diversity of, of approaches and um, having different ways of looking at problems um, I think creates an opportunity um, to address issues uh, that we may not have, have considered otherwise and the opportunity to collaborate with a colleague in Saudi Arabia or in Jordan or in another part of the world uh, may be beneficial. And, and I, I think, for example, of malaria. Professor Wuto's office helps promote collaboration with researchers in other countries, but he says most often the initiative comes when two academics from different countries who studied together start talking about what they could do together. Uh, so I would say that, that primarily that, that's probably the, the, the most mm -hmm. common reason is because of, of personal contacts or, for example, um, uh, because we have individuals who studied from various parts of the world, uh, someone who may have been a classmate in, in graduate school or a classmate in, in undergrad becomes a, a ready resource when they're, um, they return to, to their country. Um, of origin, but we also have opportunities to, to develop collaborations based upon um, meetings at conferences and, and meetings at um, national and international um, uh, venues where um, researchers who have common interests have the opportunity to hear about what their colleagues are doing. Professor Wuto, who is also the dean of Howard's College of Pharmacy, says that before starting a project, it is important for research partners in different countries to draw up a protocol or formal agreement. It should cover such issues as how much money and resources each side will commit and who will be the lead author of the various papers they will publish. One of the things that I think is important uh, particularly when there's international collaboration, is to have a, a, a fairly good idea up front um, what is the working style of, of the individual that you're collaborating with, what are going to be some of the, the guidelines um, in terms, for example, of publication. As we develop publications from our research, um, we, we may agree who's going to be the first author, or there, there are three or four publications that may develop from this, and I'll serve as first author on the first publication. My colleague will serve as first author on the other one. Howard University has a long history of international collaboration. It is currently expanding its teaching and joint research projects with academics in Ethiopia, Brazil, and China. As American universities become more globalized, faculty members are increasingly looking for new opportunities to collaborate with foreign colleagues on joint research projects. It brings in new resources and new perspectives in the search for new knowledge. For Saudi Good Morning, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.